Westfield race car track car speedo with faulty display. So under test we have no display, completely gone. To remove the needle, we want to push it, sorry, we want to twist it against the motor stop. This unit has a little trip button, which will get in the way. But all you do is twist it back. There's a motor stop on the opposite side of it. back again as you are doing this when you're twisting it against the motor stop gently lift off she comes little wedge connector on the board you just pull the wedge out and out comes the cable the little screen is stuck to the clear mount with a little bit of double sided sticky tape now it can be quite sticky so using a plastic card You just want to get behind the screen and pop it off. You'll see a sticky. Tape. Or pad or whatever it is. Okay, so we're going to replace. This screen. That is showing nothing. With a new complete unit. New screen, new cable, all pre-joined. So all we need to do is connect it to the board. What I'll do is I'll connect it to the board with the front mount all off so it's easier to see the cable going into the connection. So all we're doing 
is lining the tracks or pads up with the little metal connectors and then closing the wedge connector. Rebuild time. So, put the new screen back in its mount. Now, if we put the sticky face back on it holds the display in so so we don't need to tape it in with double sided tape So line the cable up, push, or sorry, close the connector. Now, needle refit. Push it on, leave a reasonable gap, maybe one mil between the cap and the face. Twist it back on the motor stop. You want it just below. So what we're looking for when we power the unit back up, the needle wants to sit on the, sit on the little zero mark. So you can see when you power it up, it goes back a little bit and then stops at zero. And you can see the screen working. There's the trip. And there's the miles. Thanks for watching.